First with Callum back in the cut and Drikus Duplessis is sending shots at the newly crowned undisputed middleweight champion of the world Israel Adesanya. He's talking spicy. He's come out here after Izzy's knockout against Alex Pereira in an attempt to talk up a potential bout for the middleweight championship. And he's come out talking spice, he's saying Israel Adesan is not a real African. He's a fake African, this and that. He says he's gonna show Israel Adesan what a real African is. My bro. You what? Man, so what if you're from South Africa, man? My guy. You're white, bro. You're white, bro. You're the colonizer act, talking about you're some real African G. That's a disgrace, my bro. And I get it, man. I get, I get, I get, you know, Duplessis' angle here, man. I get Drikus' angle here. He's a bumski who's saying the most outlandish things he can to get a title shot. And, and hey, right now it's somewhat working because he's got Israel Adesanya to buy it. Now, are you calling Israel Adesanya a Nigerian a man? A, a, a fake African? What, because cause, cause he, he changed in New Zealand or... Cause he, bro, shut up, man. You know, if there's one thing in this life I don't like, it's bums just talking crazy. You're a bum, bro. You actually you stink, G. And Israel Adesanya is going to knock you clean out, bro. And it's not even a fight worth... what. It's not even a fight worth, worth taking for Israel Adesanya. Honestly... The question is really, what's next for Israel Adesanya? Because he's cleaned out the middleweight division. So it may be a case where he may have to go back to fighting bums. Because, I mean, bro, Drikus, how are you white talking about my man's not a real African? Bro, you're white, bro. You're not the real African. Come on, man, let's be serious out here, man. You know, one thing I do want to talk about, the potential bow. I don't know if it's confirmed... Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments if it has been fully confirmed. But a potential bout between uh, Kazmat and, and Costa in October. Now, that 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 is a fight I want to see. Because Costa is huge for a middleweight. Huge for a middleweight. You know, he might as well be a light heavyweight, bro. Like, he is huge for a middleweight. But Kazma has the strength of free man. The way I've seen Kazma just drag people around the ring like they're dogs, G, is crazy. Personally, if that fight was to go ahead, I would be I would put my money on Kazma, man. I think Kazma is the most dangerous guy in the middleweight division. Dangerous fellow. And I believe, so obviously it looks as though whoever wins that fight will probably be the number one contender for, for, the, for the middleweight championship. Kazma versus Israel Adesanya is a fight I want to see. To be real with you, I, I, want, I want that to be Israel Adesanya's next fight. Israel Adesanya versus Kazma. That is what I want to see, man, personally. Because I feel like Kazma has a real... I, I feel like Kazma... Takes the championship off Israel Adesanya. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm crazy. But I like Kazmat, bro. And his ability to just throw people around like they're babies. And just choke, man. Bro, you man saw what he done to Kevin Holland, bro. You made Kevin Holland look like a bumski. And Kevin Holland's cold. But that just speaks to the skill and the strength of, of a Kazmat. That's the fight I want to see. You know, I know, I know, I know that, you know, Dana's been talking about Kazmat 
um, potentially being moved up to light heavyweight, which I think he can do. You know, he's he's somebody that's been able. Uh, he could do. He has a strength to move up to light to light heavyweight, but I don't want to see him go to light heavyweight before he faces Israel Adesanya for the middleweight championship. I think that'd be a total disservice to the UFC community, man. To the UFC fans, I think that's a fight UFC fans deserve. It's a fight I know I want to see. You know, Israel Adesanya really has nothing left to prove in the middleweight division. He he's cleaned out everybody. I think Kazmat's Kazma the one that's next up, and I think Kazmat is one that has a real opportunity to go in there and take that belt of Israel Adesanya, more so than anybody else in the middleweight division. I think Costa, Costa's another threat. But outside of those two, I don't see anybody in the middleweight division that, you know, unless he goes for the trilogy with Alex Pereira, but that won't be, that won't be for a while, personally, so... But yeah, Drikas, man, back to you, you bumski. Bro, we don't want to see you fight. Bro, you're going to get knocked out, G. You're going to get cheated like a little pussy, bro, in that ring. Out here talking about Israel Adesanya's not a real African. Well, what are you then? You're a real African, my bro. Did you not check your... Did you not look in the mirror when you wake up, bro? What, you think you're black now? Chill out, man. Joker. And that's obviously not to say that all Africans are black. You know, you look up in Morocco and Tunisia and Egypt and North, North Africa. Countries that are heavily populated with black people too. But majority Arab. So yes, yes, before, you know, the silly people jump in the comments. Come out, oh, yeah, you can only be African if you're black. No, 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 that's not the case. Shut up, man. I know what the fuck I'm saying. I know, I know what the hell I'm saying. And I'm talking specifically about Drikas, yeah? That little white boy ain't no damn African. Yeah, Talk, coming out here with this outlandish comments and that. My bro, if you get the title shot, fair play, because it means that your trash talking works. But my guy, you're a bumski. <laughs> Simple. With that being said, though, shout out to the gang. Shout out to the lit house. Yes, shout out to the lit house. Shout out to my people there, man. Shout out to King Fuse Lit, a.k.a. Rev. Shout out to Self Made Sicario. Shout out to Malik. Shout out to 704 Moneybags. You know the dream team, man. Teamwork makes a dream work, man. And we're, we're really a team out here, man. We're really a family. Get me Lit House set. We are the set. Ramadan Mubarak to Ma'akis. Assalamu alaikum. I'm over and out.